Good evening, I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News Update. Thanks for watching. We begin with a statement by Premier the Honorable Alda McLaughlin today to members of Parliament. It's in regards to the issuance of Cayman Islands passports. Well, the Premier also laid out the various options the Cayman Islands and other overseas territories have. You can watch today's proceedings in its entirety only here on CIG TV tonight starting at 8 o'clock. You can also go online to the Cayman Islands Facebook page to read his statement in full. Well, it was a day to dress down at Clifton Hunter High School and all for a good cause. Hundreds of students and staff donned their casual clothes to support World AIDS Day that was observed earlier in December. The theme of the day was Best Dressed in Red Dress Down Day. The aim was to support Clifton Hunter High School activities and to raise awareness for World AIDS Day. I think uh, World AIDS Day is a very important day in the curriculum of any school. It forms an integral part of what I would class as personal, social and health education through the life skills curriculum as well as social studies. Um, the purpose of, it, uh, of World AIDS Day and an aspect of that is to um, raise awareness and broaden the educational understanding of our students around the issues relating to HIV and AIDS. Um, I think it's an important aspect of sexually transmitted disease. It's not just a, a, a disease in isolation, but when we consider it in the context of diseases generally, sexually transmitted diseases, it's important that students understand the implications of contracting the disease and the lifelong impact, adversely in many cases, on students' lives for the rest of their lives. Um, we know that there's a growing concern in Cayman and it's something again in terms of raising awareness that we want to keep in the public eye as it affects young people and later on into adulthood. The students paid two dollars to dress down and there was even a prize won by a male and female for the best dressed in red student. And it was a culinary affair to remember when the Thanksgiving culinary event took place at the A.L. Thompson's last night. That's Thursday evening, that is. Well-known Caymanians put on their chef hats, cooking up some tasty traditional Caymanian meals. The local cooks made various meals, including spicy beef, minced fish cakes, breadfruit salad, cornbread, cassava cake, West Bay lime pie, and traditional teas. All cooks provided enough food for sampling, and they also demonstrated their recipes, which was, which was then shared with attendees. Some 70 invited guests attended the culinary event put on by the Ministry of, the, of Agriculture, Department of Tourism, and A.L. Thompson's. The recorded cooking segments will be available for the public to view in the coming months. And before we go, a reminder to tune into Radio Cayman's Talk Today show. That's daily at 12.15. And of course, if you missed our government news update, you can watch throughout the night or go online to our Facebook and YouTube pages. And that ends our coverage of this week's government news here on CIG TV. I'm Donna Bush. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. We leave you now with video of students from East End Primary School singing Christmas carols as a token, a, a token of appreciation to those who assisted the school throughout this year. Bye-bye for now. Glory in the house.